All right, got to use a T20 Torx bit. I'm doing a uh, removal of the ABS module on the 2000 Ford F-150. I think mine's gone. You check the solenoids uh, are like this. And if they have a lot of play, see all that play? It's gonna, the solenoids are bad. They're not gonna work. Probably get this rebuilt, but the cost of it versus me just going to the salvage yard. Um, it's probably gonna cost more to do it that way. You wanna take your air filter off right here. And then you gotta get to these four screws. You gotta pull that thing all the way out. So it slides out. This thing right here slides out of the uh, connector. You gotta pull it outwards before the connector will come out. So it's kind of tricky. And that's the main and that's the main one that goes right there. I'm gonna do some tests on the bench with my multimeter and then uh, go ahead and grab one from the junkyard I think to get this ABS thing fixed before winter hits. Tinker and Tom, please hit subscribe. This is a quick video. I'll be back with the new one maybe, we'll see. Alright guys, update after I went to the junkyard and got a uh, new ABS control module from an 03 F-150, not not new, but used uh, from the junkyard, uh, at least it's three years newer than my truck, and I slapped it in there using the T20 Torx bit, undid that, did the two uh, connections, just slapped it in there, uh, make sure you take your air air box off it makes it a lot easier to uh, to get to and then uh, yeah you don't have to reprogram anything on these older trucks so that's the good thing now like a newer Ford Edge or something like that you got to reprogram stuff and pay for it hundreds of dollars just to to get something like that so I got a whole module for $26 from my local salvage yard. That's a steal deal in my opinion. So Tinker and Tom, back at you. With your uh, ABS fix, at least on a Ford F-150, it might apply to your car too. Um, this is 97 through 03, I believe. Uh, some of the older trucks don't have ABS in them. That's what I was having trouble. I only found one at the junkyard that had ABS module. The other ones didn't even have ABS. So uh, that's one thing to look out for. But Tinker and Tom, please hit like, subscribe, and we'll get back to you on the next repair video or, uh, you know, car update. Peace.